Okay, I'm here today at a lawn that I'm just going to call DS's lawn. And uh, this is a this is a client that I've served before and they've invited me to come and offer them some advice and maybe give them some help with uh, this lawn at their new home. There's uh, some perennial grass in here. This is snellish grass right there. All of this is just big mats of crab grass. This was a this would be this will be easily controlled in the future just by a simple pre-emergent application. There's some um, this is uh, black medic weed in the clover family Virginia button weed here. Uh, this is this is mallow, I believe. to the, this area, unless there's a gate right here, which I don't see. Maybe there's one down here. No. All right. So we'll just go around. Landscape beds, some beautiful annuals, and some cherry tomatoes. Got some spider mite webs on the, the large Alberta spruce. Some summer patch here. Maybe that's affected some of this. I'm getting ready to sneeze. Excuse me. Pardon me. But the crabgrass is not a problem back here just because there's so much shade. Um, oh, there's a little crabgrass right here. There's just some dieback portions. Virginia button weed in here. This is probably. So, this is the, the back one. Serious composting operation going on here, which is always a good thing. So this is there's uh, it's going to need to be some seeding back here. Just get this on a good feeding program. Get a soil, get some soil samples collected, and 
and uh, work from a, uh, a good soil test report. And we can have this lawn turned around by this time next year. So I'm going to get in touch with BS and give her my impressions and recommendations and see what we can do to help. This is Mike Poole and I'm out.